Hello viewer, welcome to my one of one new videos. In this video, we are going to discuss what related to the manual beam design, taking required data before starting the manual design of a beam from ETAP building model. Where to select the critical beam from the ETAP building model of the design of beam and to extract the data required for the design of beam from ETAP that is bending momentum and shear force with sagging moment and hogging moment at different support left in middle and right similarly for uh, shear moment shear force also calculated the different supports first of all so we have to open the etab models or building models and you have to be analyzed first you have to be analyzed analyze the result and second work is to be designed concrete frame design you should have to be designed and then check Verify all member part. Here all the M passes the designs. Then you have to go to go to the first. You have to be needed the dimensions of the beam and properties, material property that you have already defined in the material property and the section property there you got. And the other thing that is you have to be select the beam, critical beam from uh, this model building models what we have to do for selecting the beam uh, we have to go to design and the frame frame design and display design info uh, here so there is a two or two or two more than two way to you have to be find the critical beam beam to designs here i'm going to the first process to uh, here display output longitudinal and person apply and okay here you have to go through the go at the uh, first floor ground floor ground floor or ground floor first floor above floor and bottom floor and there you have to got the longitudinal reinforcement the beam at the different each beam has the six data that is at the middle top bottom and the right top bottom this size is a small then you have to bottom Okay. Here, here is the beam uh, where the longitudinal reinforcements there you have to be find the maximum longitudinal reinforcement for the support here you have to find the 200 and greater than 200 and similarly you have to find the uh, greater one at the support end only okay it comes to the middle end here you can this support this is, this is the beam where uh, this is this uh, this data and this data the maximum data among this and okay? you have to go on the next floor and the fan like this uh, here is the 401 281 that is the maximum again you got the go the wall like that like this you can also find and select the beam where the maximum longitudinal reinforcement another way to we have to go to the uh, di uh, display options okay so tables and you make sure that you have to unselect this because the data has been more okay clear on okay and second you have to this also if there is selected uh, if there is selected then you have to clear all and okay uh, here we have to be find the, here the envelope condition so we are selecting the envelope okay and second work is to envelope and okay then you have we have to go the analyze the result uh elemental output or frame output here is the beam elemental force for the beam press okay uh, it take times load because there is a lot of data have to wait for a few seconds. Okay. Display and design elemental. M output B is okay. 
here to click in blog and okay. Here we got the data so the, the different floor the different beam they have in the different all the beams all with unique names load types g2 v3 em2 m3 all these data as given here uh, here you can also use the filter but uh, extract this data and access easily uh, use the filter or uh, there here we go export the data in the Excel format. Got this data in Excel format. Then open the Excel sheet. Now we have to be select a beam who has the maximum bending momentum that is M3. How we can select that beam? You have to press here and use the filter options. Here you go and filter apply filter. Here we have to select the maximum. There may be negative or positive. You have to select the maximum number, absolute maximum number. So okay, smaller to the large. Uh, here we got the fifth floor, B56, that is uh, 358 minus 358. Okay, okay. And let's go to the large to the 33. That means uh, smaller value is greater. This is our critical beam. We have to be designed. Fifth floor. The floor B56, the envelope condition, there is the maximum M3. Okay, uh, now close it and close it. And we have to go through the fifth floor. Okay, first, second, third, fourth. Here is showing the plan. Fifth floor, and here the beam name B56. Okay, uh, what we can do for the B56? Uh, press on the form shape, particular mark as time left table not section apply label we have to be uh, be label need a label right okay b56 here we can find the b56 anywhere oh always the critical value has been come near to the lift or the um, near to the beam lift or near to the yes, um, what a staircase or anywhere the long beam has been supported there also there may be also where the lots of load has been taken uh, here is our the 56 beam this is our beam have to be designed b56 so uh, but this beam is the lift beam here I am assigning the lift for the lift beam. Uh, this these four beam are as a lift beam, and all other are the uh, the main beam and secondary beam. So we have to be designed the three types of beam. One is the lift for the lift beam, and the another for the primary beam, and another for the secondary beam. First of all, so we have got the most value now secondary beam B fifty six. Then the data required for this. So what we can uh, again, we press the this uh, this design, concrete frame design, the display design information, longitudinal apply. Here you can also take the name B fifty six, B seventy, B fifty, and B sixty two are the lift beam, and all other are the main beam. Okay. Here you, I am defining. Click there. Apply. Okay. Here you okay and okay if this defeat is here you just go and press the right click button this beam right not right just go to the beam and press left button not right button a okay, right button right button of your mouse and go to the detail details here you got the data uh, or the you have to you have here we have need the in at the envelope conditions we need the bending momentum at i that is in i means the at the support left in support the middle in support and here the in j that means the mu at the j means at the right support now there is the top that is negative moment and bottom top and bottom here also the middle top and bottom and top and bottom 
here we got the six momentum value this six value required for the beam design and second this is our the here we got this one and here you can this value is required only this value is required six value for the beam design and you have to print this like this you have to go to print and press ok and you got a file just select the file and save in your anywhere file okay this value has been got and the, the new UV, um, second work we, we need to do uh, that is a uh, moment for the mo moment we have got and the what we will for the shear force of this beam what we have to do uh, and do uh, go through go here display frame value good and here you select envelope from more you select anywhere okay. this apply okay just left click that is select this beam press the right click here you got shear force bending momentum and deflection by scrolling the data you have got the shear force at the zero okay at the zero that is a shear force is 0 39 here we can use the maximum and minimum data required so you have to select the minimum at the zero there we got the shear force that is the major shear force at the and m3 and the shear force is the minus oh, 393 and 273 at the left end support and bending momentum there also be at the middle support this is our the length our length is 7.2898 by 2 at the middle support press enter Second enter you got the middle value and similarly for the right end 7.2898 enter here you got the right end right end value this six value six value of the movement from that that we have already uh, for the for the tables we have already displayed the table so very good summary uh, envelope summary the six movement and here you got the um, shear force this is the only value are required for the design here i have a sample in design here you require the d d uh, effective date you have calculated this value has been already defined as for the defined and the second work uh, you have to be fine for the fracture design that is hogging and sagging momentum and at, at the left end support and at the middle end support at the left end support at the middle at the middle end support at the mid bottom and top that is again hockey similarly for the right end support bending momentum support this six value and what we can there you there you also get at the by scrolling this value where you need the second and hook on second step is Go design concrete frame design analyze display information apply okay and press the right click and go to the design and go to the envelope here we got similarly for how we can select the here we can select the beam uh, for the lift lift beam with the maximum and how we can select the main beam primary beam for this for for that we have to know that the beam name till all the lift beam for that we have to press in the tick mark here label apply ready here is the label so on the bottom that is b56 b50 b62 b70 again we go to the data access files where we have already used the picture. here we have press and we have to on select the that the primary beam, that is lift beam where we because i have already take the data required for the beam, beam, beam. next work we have to on take the b50 okay, we have sort the b50s there is the b50 on take the b50 another is b56 and another is b62 and b70 here we can on take this and press ok here we got the other value and here we have select the small or to large okay this is our another primary critical beam primary critical beam where we have got the maximum bending momentum m3 that is in the sixth floor b54 and we have 
this beam we have to be designed another beam we have to design it b54 with the sixth floor and we have to go at the sixth floor we have to do a sixth floor b50 oh, i think b54 yeah yeah b54 oh there is 50 50 51 on this side 52 53 50 b54 this beam we have to be designed this is for the primary beam 54 okay it's floor b54 it's floor b54 we have to design this another way now for this also the similar similar work we have to go to the design on concrete frame design display information longitudinal bar apply okay uh, press the left right click button here we go design envelope and here you got the x value that is bending momentum bending moment here you can download the file okay here i'm saving yeah b stop Ended files. This is our file. Okay. This value we have only used this value. This value at, at the at moment. This is on the left. This means end I mean the left at the left support. End J means the right, right support and this is the middle support. Here is the top. That is positive bending momentum and negative bending momentum that is zero minus negative bending momentum positive bending momentum at the middle is O value and another one is this value this six value we have required for the beam design again we go and the, for the shear force what we have to do this is before uh, we have again go here uh, here come go to the combo below uh, add maximum minimum apply and we do this side so we have to be selected here so here you click the right click first of all so we have to be select this by pressing left key and then press Selecting by left, left click, left, right click. Now oh, here we have got the maximum and minimum value. By scrolling, then you have got the at the different point, left hand support, middle support, and the right hand support. You have got the maximum and minimum that is the negative moment and the positive moment, sagging and hopping moment. Okay, this is the process. Here you got the six the ending momentum value. By the two way, we have to selecting the beam by the longitudinal reinforcement or another. And we have also uh, see that uh, we have selecting this beam at the sixth floor. Here is a more longitudinal reinforcement. How we can see? Uh, here you can also see go to the design. Something left here. You can see 14, 21. And 0 10 that is 14 maximum is 14 21 the bottom 14 17 is less than that and this is also less go above and this is 410 that means that means you have selected like this also this or other way to do you have to go and display level and m3 is the maximum better them and that we also there we also got the the beam we have the more longitude this way you have to Take the data from the ETAP for the model. This video helpful for you. Thank you for watching this.